Hey everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, we're still in Messyville, but we're gonna be talking about Portia Williams' trick, which is called Simon Gabadio. Okay, he's called Simon G over here. All right, I am just being messy tonight. Okay, right now Messyville has about a five star rating, and it's gonna capote to ten star rating. Okay. When I finish with this hill video. Now we all know. Portia is doing a little candy run. Where she's trying to take care of her man. Okay. Because her man ain't taking care of her. But at least Candy got the husband title. Okay. Portia got the glorified boyfriend title. That she likes to throw out there. My fiance. My future husband. I'm like girl. Give it a rest. Okay. Totally slap it down. Put it to bed. And just not say anything else about it. Okay. Because I don't want to hear anything else about it. But we talking about Simon G. And his non-existent restaurant. That he started somewhere in. I think it was 2017. Who is that man y'all? Do y'all know who that man is? I don't know who that man is. But this was before Portia's time. Which I really don't understand. But as we get into the video. We'll try to clarify. Who is this lady y'all? Who is this lady? I know Jezebel is a magazine. But who is he being featured with? Who is that lady in red, girl? Portia, do you know? He might stay, still have her in his black book. But yes, that's Simon's restaurant. I don't know if y'all knew he had one. Hell, I didn't know. Okay? Until I was just, you know, researching and doing some, bit, looking at some videos. And it just came across my screen. You know, when I get the screening and I get the scene, I'm like, ooh, I need to do a story. Okay? Because that's hot. That's hot. That's, I want to drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Okay, and we ain't finna park it either. We finna cruise on down. But yes, yeah, Simon had bought Ludacris's restaurant. And I don't know if you don't know who Ludacris is, just Google him. He's a, a native rapper down here in Atlanta. And he has been shown in many films, Fast and the Furious. Um, and you know, he's a great rapper. So this is what it is. I don't know what he's doing now. Probably still making some movies. Who knows, okay? But yes, that was re uh, his restaurant that he had renovated, I believe. And um, I'm, I'm thinking, is that the same restaurant that uh, Portia was in that she got drunk that night and fell on the floor? But I don't know. They're just saying pretty much Ludacris sold the restaurant to him. And he only had it for three years before it went belly up. Now you tell me, do this ego need to be investing? And I'm wondering what, who money he invested. You know what I'm saying? Because the damn show probably wasn't his. Oh, it could have been another chick he was trying to bribe. Who knows how Simon get down. We still trying to figure out how he get his money. Is it through drugs? Let us sister know, okay? So Portia can get a clue. But hey, if Portia is clueless to this point, she's going to be forever left in the dark. But yes, this brother was supposed to have had a lucrative business. A restaurant business called Simon on Juniper Street. But like I said, it is no longer there, no longer available. And you would have thought, hey, he should have met Candy Burris before he started that restaurant. Because her restaurant, the OLG, is going on five years in the making. And yes, we all know she had her bouts with the inspections and this, that, and the third. But sister still got it. So you got to throw up a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, she still got money. But guess who took part into uh, being around Simon at the time? Y'all recognize that girl? Y'all recognize that girl? That is Fallon Pena. Okay, so she actually got to partake of simon's restaurant when it was available and i'm thinking it was around the time 215 217 it's really not clear when i googled it so i didn't want to waste too much time on it. i just thought i'd bring this uh blast from the past to tell y'all how he started businesses and then they go belly up wonder why wonder why is he not a good investor is is he does he not have good business sense y'all let me know but yes he had a restaurant um, here in Atlanta, like I said, it only lasted three years before it went belly up. I don't know what the man do for a living. Seems like he spent a lot of time, you know, in Costa Rica doing, you know, some strange things for some change. And that's about it. 
They say you invest in cars, luxury cars, but uh, what do you do? Do you flip them like you flip houses? Come on, sister, want to know where's the revenue coming from? Because that nut of a, of a, a woman, Portia Williams, she's sitting out here whining and dining. you like, she the man. She the man in the relationship. And I'm like, wait a minute. Who is the millionaire here and who's the billionaire? Tell me because a sister want to know. He's supposed to have his own private jet. All right, if that's the case, uh, why well, he's not on Forbes 500 list, okay? But, hey, look at them cute cuties. They cute, ain't them? Girl, I hope Dennis get the custody. I hope he get 50, 50, 50, 50 custody because it's not looking good. And poor um, Mama Diane, Grandma Diane need a rest because PJ been wearing her ass out because that's all she see when she wake up, PJ. When she go to pee, PJ. She go eat some bread for PJ. <laughs> <laughs> just like a nightmare pj okay pj is always there and we have to wonder where the hell is her mama i don't know she might be jet setting here she was in florida one day she was in la the next hell now she i'm good you know in the caribbean so when does she have time to raise pj i'm still trying to figure that out we over here at the house of damn chef damn chef that's what it were we want to know what's going on with you and your daughter because you have been gone January, February, and I hear, I guess you don't, you be going December, no, you, okay, let's say, say, the end of December, summer, January, and February, you been gone. Now, how the hell is Candy and that chef that's supposed to be your chef sitting in the middle and evil get to partake of Simon's restaurant, but Portia never got a chance. Now, you trying to tell me Candy, evil, and Fallon got a chance to eat at Simon Gobadia's restaurant? And Portia didn't get a chance to partake. And Portia was on the show. Portia was on the show before Eva came on the show. Now, how they know about the restaurant? Or is it should be said, you knew. Is this the time where you said you had mutual friends that knew Simon Gabadia and you had been known Simon Gabadia before you were allegedly a husband, still a girl? <laughs> Tell us. We want to know, girl. We want to know. We just keep finding shit. We just keep finding shit on you, Portia, and it's not looking good, girl. Then somebody told me at the house over in my family, okay, they said that Fallon's going to write a tell-all book. Now, hopefully her book don't go for $30, and it could be a, 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 a table holder, coaster, you know, for a, a drink to sit on top of it. I might get it, but I don't know. Fallon really just don't interest me. I admire her looks, her go get her spirit, and her ideal of wanting to be surrounded by wealth. I get it, got it good, but she got she's kind of boring to me. You know what I'm saying? She looks nice, dresses fabulous and she loves luxurious stuff other than that you know she don't tickle my fancy so i'm not sure if i'll get the book or not i don't know i might have to like go and just read it in the bookstore just to see how it feels in a sense because i have to have a hard copy book can't do the ebook or listen to a book like that can't do that so we can see what's going on what's she gonna be telling the stories i mean is she gonna pick it up from where portia stole her husband <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be a good read right there because we're going to get her perspective on how things actually happen. Because like I said, did Simon leave Fallon around Valentine's Day? So that's why Portia's doing all this hoopla about being with him and they being in an exotic place of the Caribbean or Anguilla. And everything is just roses. But yet she bought the trip for him but he bought the car for her so who's winning who's winning girl you're still living somebody else's life and not your life girl you think you playing something to expose it on somewhat to after valentine's day to get a big you know i don't know praise or something or people to look at you look at you no we still saying Fallon had that life. She got to eat it. I don't know how many good free meals she had outside before the restaurant went belly up. But she was at Simon's restaurant along with Candy, girl, and Eva, the diva. Okay. They were sitting out there flossing, eating at a very nice restaurant. Because I heard the prices go from $30 a plate to $50 a plate. So it was a very, um, what do you call it? A nice aviance when you went in there. It reeked of, you know, celebrity ship and it reeked of luxury. Okay, fine dining. 
and fine whining, I'm pretty sure. But you didn't get a chance to partake of that because I'm sure you would have been taking pictures. You would have been hosting things over there. You've been throwing up parties and all that. But Simon was not a very good businessman to attain and to hold on to that restaurant. So something did not go well. I don't know if he had the right uh, managers or the right chef or what in the hell was going on okay but even Ludacris had it longer than simon had he only had it for three years and candy still got the olg and blaze steakhouse rolling and she's definitely younger much younger and vibrant than simon so should simon have lent his ears or asked some expertise of candy birds or who she had running and managing her restaurant establishments maybe he should but hey, he got he probably was prideful, thinking he knew everything and he could take care of everything. And in the end of things, he went belly up with the business. So again, what does Gabadia do? We know he can start businesses and we know he can fail in them and pretty much dissolve them. So what else? It's a hot mess, I keep telling you. We keep coming up empty. But Portia just loves on this man. Okay? Love on too much because I'm like, you're spending a lot more of your money than he's spending out on his. But I'm still trying to say, as loud as this kept quiet, I'm going to speak it out loudly. Candy is a winner over there. She's going to have another hit show or sitcom or spinoff that Bravo's paying for. Candy in the game because she got three amazing older senior women. And they're going to take care of her in a sense of giving the drama. Okay. Eva gonna keep her jobs at this nation as well as Ricky Smiley show as well as um well okay I had to get back I, I got too fast for myself because she ain't no longer on Housewives either but I think she's on that ultimate girl trip somewhere with Phaedra okay so she's still been seen and flossed on the Real Housewives of uh, uh bro what do you call it um uh, franchise you know what I'm saying so she's still there she still has inked the deal in there somewhere. But you, you have nothing. You have no one. Girl, this is Atlanta. The heart and soul of business entrepreneurs. They're out here. They're turning heads. They're turning it up. They're doing the darn thing. We are even called Baby New York, Baby Hollywood. Okay, because we do have heavy hitters out here. They're trying to move here. Uh, Tyler Perry, one. I think Oprah. Uh, has for scouting looking for a home down here she might have one we just don't know about where it is okay we got steve harvey he's down here uh we got kim the uh artist a uh, music artist we got kiki white oh uh, shit they got the braxton sisters here well they go to and fro to and fro from la to here uh we just have a lot of people down here you know what i'm saying we have Ludacris. we have uh so so deaf jermaine dupree um, who else we have, Sean? Yeah, we had Bow and then he left and went back up there. We had, what's his name? The, uh, saying the Superman. Oh, some uh, crazy little rap around here. I forgot what, it, what Soldier Boy, what they all called him. But either way, either way, we still got Bow Head Simon up there looking like Papa Smurf and Grandpa rolled up all into one, still thinking he can floss. But yet, we don't know exactly what he does. Somebody tell us sooner or later. Rather sooner than later. Okay? Because Porsche ain't giving us nothing but fake, fraudulent, fuckery, foolishness. That's what she got. That's what we're running with over here. The four L's. And I want her to pull up. Because right now she's just trancing, traping, uh, flying off to God knows where. Okay? And leaving poor PJ home with the grandmama. No! And her mama too old to be watching PJ 24-7. 24 hours around the clock. And then Dennis got to come in bed to try to get his child from Miss um, Diane. Because Portia done set out her rules. No, the baby can only stay with you, mama. You and, and Papa Larry, don't let him go over there. Or don't let her go over there with her daddy. Because she ain't going to be there with her. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said Dennis gonna get the gone and gone stroke finesse the uh, courts to give you some time with your baby girl. 
Six months out of the year, she with the mama. Six months out of the year, she with you. Because this don't make no sense. But Portia should be jet setting when she knows she got a three year old. Is she, is she, Shasta, is she two or three? Shasta. I guess Shasta don't went to sleep. Anyway, I think she's about three now. She should be. But y'all, that's a hot mess. I don't know how Simon get his business. I don't know how he get his money. It's looking kind of shady to me. It's looking kind of shady, y'all. But we're going to keep on it. We're going to keep on it. He's going to finally mess up. And we're going to really see what he's about. The uh, veil is going to come unlifted one day. And we're going to be right there. Waiting, willing, and ready to do commentary on it. Because right now he's looking like Grandpa Papa Smurf. Okay. Can't do for himself. And I hope he don't, he don't invest it in um, the Social Security part. Where he don't pay it in taxes, taxes. So he can get some money. Because they going to need it. Because we're not sure if Bravo... Is going to give her, meaning Portia, another chance at uh, rebranding herself or not. We, as in us, the community that watch Ratchet TV shows here and there, to and fro, we don't want her to come back with a part two spinoff of Portia's Family Matters. Oh, hell no. Okay. Don't even don't even resurrect it. Just let it stay where it is. I don't know if we cremated it at the time or we just buried it under the ground. But we, we th let's not desecrate anything. Okay. Let's keep how you say let let sleeping dogs lie. Let just let that lie. Now, if you want to give her some exposure to some fuckery about she's going to be marrying this Papa Smurf grandpa we looking at. I don't know. Okay. I don't even know if we want to stomach that. But if, it, if it's meant to be for her. Then so let it be. Okay. Let it be. And then we'll be here to give commentary on it. But at this time. I really don't know honestly. What she can do to improve her image. Other than dropping zero over here. Papa Smurf Simon. Grandpa Simon. If she relinquish him, she may have a chance in hell to raise up, admit her faults, her guilt, clear her conscience, and start anew. You know what I'm saying? Because if the Lord can forgive us, then surely we, the people that speak, we spoke, we're bloggers, we can forgive her too. You know what I'm saying? But she got to show and prove. She got to show and prove. Show there's a difference in her behavior. Where she won't just go piping off at the mouth. And be wanting to get them hands. Get them hand actions going. You see what I'm saying? We don't need her to be doing that. We need her to take in what somebody say to her negatively. And her to spit it back out positively. You know like it didn't even phase her. Like whatever they said that was just you know crazy. Out the way. Not respectful or whatever. She just took it like a champ. Took it on both sides of her cheek. And moved on. You know what I'm saying? How you say bob, weave, move. All that kind of stuff. Like you're boxing. You're trying to weave and you know, not get hit or whatever. That's what we need her to do. We need her to be more silent. Listen more. And respond appropriately. Instead of with them hands. So we're working on that with her. But until she can prove. Show and prove. She can handle a situation without it getting volatile and her picking up something in her hands because she can't get you with, with her hands and her fist. We need her to relax, relate, and release at this time. But we don't really think that it's going to happen until she get him out of her life and she starts to figure out what she really needs in her life. And be, you know, be responsible and reasonable what she's asking the Lord to bring in her life. You know, because her Lord may not be my Lord that I serve. You see what I'm saying? So, it just is what it is. I thought I'd just bring that out to you all. That Simon Gabaria did have a rest right here in Atlanta. Didn't last for three years, okay? It ain't here now. And the only person I know that partaked of the goods was his I don't think she was married to him at that time. Could be wrong. But I don't see a ring on her finger. So I think she was trying to size him up. And she thought at the time she had somebody good. Okay. But at least we can know she got wine and dined. Okay. She probably got the best dinner plate it was to even have on several weeks of the month. And she got the top of the shelf liquor. 
as well. All right. Then she caught the she caught the big fish. She married the owner, Simon. And we already see that beautiful blue rose voice he gave her. So, how I look at it, then and now, she's still winning. She was winning when she was with Simon because he gave her everything, you know, and a prenup <laughs> to boot. She made it do what it do. This woman ain't got nothing but a prayer. A wing and a prayer. How do you say a wing and a prayer? Into hoping she gets her, not frog, but her prince. But right now, I think she got a toad. And he ain't turning into no prince. I'm just saying. But she throwing caution to the wind. Thinking she done caught the big fish, the big kahuna. The one that's going to set her straight. And set her financially up. So her and PJ can live the life that she wants them to live. I'm like, girl, did Mama Diane do this shit when she was your age, Portia? And look how she ended up, baby girl. Look how she ended up. She pimping you out. Okay? It's made to be messy over here. It's made to be messy because I ain't got nothing to do. Give but mess. You ain't showing me nothing when you're doing something. All right? So I have to just call spade a spade. Still trying to figure out who that lady, that lovely lady is. Was she one of um, Simon's conquests? And she just knew she was too much for him. And he wasn't giving all that he could have get given. Or maybe she found out his true bank account. And got the hell on. That's probably what it was. The latter. She got the hell on. She knew he didn't have too much of what he said he had. Because even Fallon got the hell on. <laughs> she might have did some dirt herself. But she got the hell on too. But I just had to bring it out. How in the world Eva and Candy ended up at Simon Restaurant. And probably got free food too. Especially when Simon knew they were on uh, TV. You know. He probably wanted to see what he could do. Make it do what it do. Because they said. From what the streets were telling me. Fallon uh, really didn't want to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But uh, Simon was actually pushing her towards doing it. Because he wanted that outlet. He wanted that spotlight on him. You see what I'm saying? But what he got was a hot mess because he got a fighter. He got that, um, we call it, um, hey, I think it's UFC. <laughs> we'll put her in a, uh, in a boxer ring is what we want to do for Portia because she's a fighter. Okay? I don't know what. She wasn't no debutante running out there. She was a hood rat running out there in her high school years. Then she had to go to alternative schooling where the bad children go. Well, not necessarily bad, but very difficult to, to deal with, okay? Their skills were not up to par, so they had to go to an alternative school for the fighters, the ones that couldn't keep their hands to themselves, the ones that were being rebellious, okay? Trust me, I know I never went. I never went to the alternative school, but I had plenty of friends that had to go, okay? They couldn't stay in the normal system because they were just too jackass bad, all right? But it is what it is. That's all I have for this video. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Make sure you haven't, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the family now. We get down and we like messy topics to talk about. Because that's all we do. We just kiki key, key, laugh and move on with the next topic that got to come. Okay, because this is our drama, our, our time we wind down from our norm of, you know, dealing with reality and life in itself. We need a little kiki, we need a little laugh. Then we try to drop some good nuggets of wisdom to take with us as we go through our days. All right, on this earth, gotta have, gotta have laugh, laughter in your life. If you ain't got laughter in your life, you might as well be dead, okay? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like I love it. Gotta have more. Make sure you like my videos. Make sure you share. And definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I mean, what are you waiting for? I give you total laughter. <laughs> I laugh at myself sometimes, okay? That's why I need my family. I need my YouTube family. So I know I'm talking to somebody else like-minded, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all hold it down.